All right, y'all. So we're changing out the the throttle uh, pedal on Big Daddy, 99 Fred on the Classic. So you might be asking, man, why would you want to change out, you know what I'm saying, your gas pedal, your throttle? And the reason you would change it out is because of this sensor right here. So this is your throttle position sensor that it comes on the pedal. And you can't actually order the sensor itself. You have to order the whole assembly. So that's pretty much where I'm at. <clears throat> so I'm changing this out. Um, so um, the way these are set up, man, you have to, because they already come with the screws already in them already. So that means you have to unbolt this from under the cab of the truck. So let me show you guys the inside first. <clears throat> so that's the throttle right there. There's no way to get under this throttle. There's no way to get under it. So you have to go under the cab and then you have a bolt right here, which I already took off. And then you have two more and they're right beside each other right here. These two right here. So it's pretty much these three bolts. You take them off and then you're able to pull the throttle, the actual pedal out. And then you'll pull the line, disconnect the cable, put everything back together and then you should be good to go. So that's what I'm about to do. Um, as y'all can see, I already got the, the, um, the three nuts off. They were, what size were they? I want to say they were 11, mi 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 11 millimeters. Y'all know I got a stuttering problem, man. So if y'all can see where we at. There you go, 11 millimeters, um, a little small one. Um, it is a tight space, man. It's an uncomfortable spot to get into. These are the nuts that was on it right here. So now I should be able to just wiggle this out. down here for years this is the original one all right there we go so now we got it up and out so now i'm gonna pull the actual sensor part um down or out so i can see where it plugs up at y'all give me a second for anybody that wants to know how much the um, pedal assembly cost it was 225 dollars um, i had to pay a freight charge 35 dollars to ship it from dallas and taxes eighteen dollars and some cents, so it pretty much came out to two hundred and eighty bucks. So, not too expensive, man. Real cheap fix. Like I said, anything under a thousand dollars to fix, I'm satisfied with it. So there you go. There you have it. All right. So we got the pedal in place. I end up having to take that part off and this bottom part off too. That's similar to this right here to get to the plug. Because the plug is actually right off in here. I'm trying to be gentle, man, because Freightliner, they butt for doing this. But they got a plug right there. I already plugged it in to make sure that it was actually going to plug up. And, um, yeah, so now I've already got this first one tightened down. I got the back one back here tightened down. I got this one tightened down already, I think. Or I was working on it. Yeah, I'm still working on this one. I'm just snugging it down. I'm not putting my foot in it because I don't want to break it off. And then now we're doing the last one. So like I said, there's only three bolts. <coughs> so far from what I can tell, the hardest part is actually getting, um, finding the connector behind the dash. I didn't want to have to take the whole dash apart. So I'm hoping I don't have to do this again for another 20 years. All right. So we got the three bolts on, one up top. These two down here, and I can show y'all. So on this one right here, I had to cut it off. So I cut off, I cut the wire off. So that's why I made sure that it actually connected first. Because there's a little, um, like a holder that's um, bolted into the cab, the frame of the truck, and I couldn't get that holder off. So I just had to cut the wires to get this off. And yeah, let me go ahead and put everything together. We'll crank the truck up and see if it works. All it. right, so I done put everything back together. It's time to. Uh, do the test, the moment of truth. I'm gonna tell you right now, if this don't work, I'm not troubleshooting. I'm just gonna call my Beaumont shop out in the morning and have them go over it and see what, you know what I'm saying, wherever I messed up. But, um, like I said, I done put all that back together, tucked everything back away, put that panel back up behind here, that panel up over there. Um, we'll do the wiggle test on it. You know what I'm saying, make sure it's not loose. I mean, that's just a plate from the actual throttle itself. It ain't loose from the bottom part. 
Um, double check under the hood. Make sure we got all three of our bolts in there, which they are. One bolt right there. Other two bolts are, I can't see the camera, but yep. Other two bolts are right here. Hopefully I can see that, that it's in there. So, yeah, we finna uh, do the test. So uh, let's go ahead and crank this thing up. I love that annoying freight line of buzz, right? All right, so Osmond, what is that? 6,000 RPMs, like 650. Get the cruise. Cancel that. Cutting it off. All right, let's go ahead and put my foot in it. Let's see if it's gonna do what it do. Trying to see if y'all can get a good view of it. Woo! Yes, sir. The crazy thing is, I can feel a difference in how it throttles up, revs up from this new from this new pedal compared to the old one. So we'll see how it drives whenever we um, get under our first load tomorrow. For y'all that know, um, you know, I'll be grossed at between 83 to 84,000 pounds. One time I did gross out at 90 in an accident, but I mean, hey, it happened. And it was only going like two and a half miles before. So yeah, man, uh, we got a freight on a classic FLD. You need to change out that throttle um, sensor or the whole throttle technically. Um, I just pretty much showed you how to do it. Um, take your time it took me about 30 minutes total there were no instructions with the parts if you have any questions or concerns drop it in the comment section below if you want to get in contact with me send me an email at trucking with big daddy at gmail.com subscribe to the channel like the video catch y'all on the next one i'm gonna leave y'all with some jake break sound